Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace here, and this is something a bit different, isn't it? This is the Xenoblade Direct. Now I'm going to see if this will even work to begin with, um, but hopefully it will, and hopefully I'll be able to talk and do my actual reactions during it. Hopefully, I don't expect it to be anything super duper, you know, over the top, my reactions that is. But if this works, then that should mean I could do this with E3, potentially. Now we got like a minute or two left, 11.59 according to my clock on my computer, which would mean about one minute left till it starts, so we'll see uh, if it indeed will start on time. But either way, I don't really have much else to say in the meantime. So let's just sit here uh, in the quiet <laughs> and enjoy the peace and quiet before the chaos known as Xenoblade Chronicles X starts. Again, hopefully. <laughs> so, 11 a.m. And if you're wondering, I am not going to continue with the treehouse afterwards doing a reaction with that because that would be stupid and pointless. But, whatever. Whatever. Come on, one more minute. Come on, one more minute. Apparently there's only 5,258 people watching right now, I guess, and a lot of people don't care too much. But, oh well. Now if this does work, the funny thing is I'm watching the uh, Direct here on the Wii U gamepad on YouTube, <laughs> on the internet browser. So... Don't even get a big, huge screen to watch it on. I mean, I guess I could flip it to my TV, but... Meh. So, come on. It's 12 o'clock, according to my computer. Should be starting any second now. Maybe. Potentially. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Greetings. Bill oh, Trennan Bill Trennan. And welcome to the planet Mira. If you're watching this, you've heard the call of a grand destiny, and you won't be left wanting. Xenoblade Chronicles X is more than monolith soft. Don't know if you can hear my freaking gamepad volume, but it's I'll a bold, try and adjust that. Open world adventure from Nintendo. It will appeal to anyone yearning to embark on a thrilling journey with their Wii U. Yes, yeah, sounds good. It offers good. the player an experience on a scale you'd expect from an entry in the Legend of Zelda or Metroid series. <laughs> it's a voyage Metroid, through the un Metroid confirmed. A series of quests that beg for completion, and the most important Japanese mission version. humanity will ever face. To survive. On behalf of Nintendo, I hope you enjoy taking a deeper, bolder trek through the world of Mira than ever before. And on behalf of the human race, I hope you're ready for <laughs> a change of pace. What the hell are you looking at? <laughs> This is the exact same thing I thought it was going to be. This is the fucking Two years ago, the unthinkable became reality. English tr uh, trailer from the Japanese one. And planet Earth is no more, wiped from existence during a war between two alien races. Yet a small glimmer of hope remains. Against all odds, mankind has survived Earth's extinction, taking to the stars aboard a colossal spaceship. Not a bad voice Bale. actor. But the alien threat persists, pursuing the refugees across the galaxy to the area of space surrounding the distant planet Mira. There, the last bastion of humanity, the White Whale, is damaged in battle White and torn whale. apart hmm. in the atmosphere as it's pulled to the surface by the planet's gravity well. It's been two months since that day. What remains of the human race has been forced to accept the their hell happened during the other and learn two months. to call this dangerous, uncharted alien world home. New Los Angeles. When your character awakens from stasis, you'll be welcomed to the one safe haven on planet Mira, New Los Angeles. It won't be safe which forever. Was modeled after its namesake. Here, you'll join the ranks of Blade, a team of explorers tasked with charting the land and ensuring the survival of the human race. Missions accepted through Blade will progress the story, while others will be handed over by corporations and even NLA residents. Ugh, fight These the corporation. tasks include everything from conducting reconnaissance, to collecting resources, to battling monsters, and searching That's what everyone for refugees wants to do, is just fight the monsters. Danger. 
Outside the well-guarded walls of NLA, there exists a vast, unexplored world divided into five continents, including this one, Primordia. There are no real boundaries here. Nothing you can see is out of reach. Every continent is oh, yours to explore. Oh, nothing out of reach, huh? Right interesting. interesting. Of game. That That's is, such a weird if you can map shape. Your journey begins in Primordia, a land of rolling plains, sparkling waters, and towering mountains. Noctilum is a strange realm of glowing plants and vast waters, and bright floating creatures. areas to swim through. Oblivia is a giant Oblivia. desert with a sizable oasis in the middle of its heart. That's where that giant area. snake thing pops out of the ground. Silvalum is a dry tundra with deep canyons and abstract rock formations. That looks pretty. And finally, there's Caldros. A lava-soaked fire pit, fueled by a massive volcano, and littered with Of course, because it couldn't be a big open-world exploration origin. RPG without a volcano area. <laughs> Don't know Scattered what a life hold across is. this varied world, you'll find life holds, fractured shelters that broke off of the white whale when it was pulled apart by the planet Mira's gravity well. Locating huh. these life holds is one of the primary goals of Blade. It's up to you and your teammates to find them and rescue the refugees inside. Map system. On these search and rescue missions, you'll need a flexible map system. Luckily, the touchscreen on your Wii U gamepad controller hosts a map, which allows you to place probes in hexagonal segments. Eh. Once a probe is placed, I like the way the map is done, actually. surrounding area will be marked. I mean, it's nothing new. We've seen this before, but a different aspect of the game that can be explored there, from new quests. To creatures you can challenge in battle. Probes also generate. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff to do. By tapping into veins of it that flow throughout the planet. Meranium acts as a type of fuel, and you'll occasionally hand some over to complete a quest. Utilizing your map and probes is the best way to explore new areas of each diverse continent. Alrighty then. Creatures, this is what everyone cares about. Each continent on planet Mira is positively teeming with wildlife, some creatures being more approachable than others. These monsters may oh, go about big. their business without provocation, or they may decide to gang up and launch a surprise attack on you and your party. In well, other that's words, not nice. you'll want to pick your fights carefully, as well as your strategic Oh, controls. there's a giant worm thing I was talking about. Simply put, some of these beasts are not to be messed with until you reach a higher experience level. Makes sense. What a jump! Fucking long jump record, or high jump. Show me Gigantic the Gigantic monsters aren't the only life forms you'll discover on planet Mira. You'll also encounter a variety of aliens. She's an alien? <laughs> from the adorable <laughs> Nopon with their claw-like ears, to the Monon, who build advanced technology. <laughs> or even the warmongering prone. Those little guys were like Jawas from Star Wars. nothing to eradicate the human race. So needless to say, you'll need all the help you can get to survive their That's a weird looking gun. That's where L comes in. This former inhabitant of Mira is a skilled creator and also former inhabitant sells his moved away, came nobody. back. That makes him an important ally and just one of the many unexpected people you'll meet on your journey. I bet he's going to die in the story. Planet Mira has so many life forms to discover, creatures to conquer, That's and a life scene with the moon. to liberate that an inexperienced traveler may feel overwhelmed. Wow, but thanks massive. to technology, That's even this won't be a problem for you. The nav ball should have been the navy ball. At hey, listen, time, hey, hey, you listen. You deploy a nav ball, which will lead you in the direction of whatever quest you are on. They take off in a hurry, but don't worry. You can deploy as many as you want with no cost to the player. Well, that's nice, I guess. And if that's not enough, you can scope out the entire area by releasing the hopper cam. <laughs> this flying camera will soar high into the air, allowing you to take in everything at once and plot your course. That's pretty cool. Be able to peek around corners, see if there's an enemy there. However, for the ultimate in travel technology, look no further than the skull. I thought it was called a doll. I guess that's the, the Japanese version. As you tear the open skies in half in your flying mech, skulls are fueled by meranium, allowing you to travel across the ground at high speeds. Fly straight to the top of any mountain to access difficult-to-reach probes. There's the cool music. Or to discover hidden caves filled with secrets. Nice. 
Skells will also give you access to a whole new set of combat possibilities, but we'll have to fill you in on that another time. Why? Now, let's take an even deeper look at the game in Nintendo Treehouse, live with Xenoblade Chronicles what? X. The Treehouse is already going now? This was ten minutes long. Actually, not even, it was like seven minutes. Well, maybe I will watch the treehouse, depending on how long it is. Hey folks, Sam here in the treehouse, joined by my colleagues Demetrius and Rich. And we yeah, hi, whatever. give you a hands-on look at some gameplay for Xenoblade Chronicles X. We've got a few different save files here, so we'll be able to show you some content further in the game that we haven't really had a chance to show off too much. And right okay, now we've got well. Lindsay's save data, so we're going to take a look. If we don't get a release date Ooh, from this, this whole fucking yeah, direct is pointless. Shot. So and this right here, monsters? yeah, Please. that's what we're gonna talk about real quick. So for those who, what is that sparkly history, thing up there? Is the oh, that's an enemy up there. Called Primordia, or Primordia. Um, as you see right here, this, these are just some of the regular wildlife that you see on this continent. It's pretty crazy. Like just regular wildlife. <laughs> yeah. it's like this looks much cooler like in night, I would say. The, the game that is. Yeah, I don't want to go near this guy. Um, the moon looks so small from how it did before. Powerful. I don't even know what that big glowing thing on his nose is, but I don't really want to find Dude. out either. It's powered by human souls. Glowing too. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm on a quest actually to um, investigate a crashed or wrecked skell. Um, as you can see on the top right hand side, you see a little mini map. All the little red dots are enemies that are around me, but the golden arrow is actually where I need to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start heading off in this direction. Hopefully I won't get jumped by any of the enemies out here. <laughs> uh, it, it'll make for good watching if you do, though. Yeah, no problem, no problem. <laughs> uh, one of the it's a long way to run. It is actually the combat, so we can maybe find an enemy coming up here. Oh, I found an open area. <laughs> <laughs> run, 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 yeah, run, run. Problem. Nice and safe. Yeah, I guess this is not far enough to where you have your mech yet, or your really scale, really as it's called. Oftentimes in this game, Those are big really fucking flowers. Everything looks cool and safe, and then BAM! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. So discovery, discovery of area. area. Is this right, keep like a this partially direction. translated it version of oh, the wow, game? I made it past all those guys. Excellent. Nice. That's and a, the little glowing piece. diamond you just picked up um, for folks who are watching, uh, that's a collectible. Um, nice. If you're familiar with the Xenoblade Chronicles game for the Wii U or uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D oh, that's go. out for the new Nintendo 3DS right now, collecting stuff in the world is a huge part of the gameplay. And it's really fun seeing if you can actually yeah, find Collectibles are collectibles, whatever. Around, um, overall, the great expanse of these different continents. Oh, yeah. So you got yourself into a little bit of combat here. I guess we can talk about, just a flower uh, talk about some of what's going on before this guy gets completely wiped out. <laughs> yeah, this seems to so be on the bottom here, I'm actually selecting a partial English attacks. version. It's like it says Lindsay so in English in the, in the corner. Power. There are all different kinds of special attacks. And it says Midnight in the top right corner and in English, right but all the rest seems to be in Japanese. Um, art that I'm selecting well, right Soul here. Stage actually, actually in the bottom left corner there, so I don't know what's going on. And you can see that with that highlighted line between you and the enemy, you can tell that you focus the enemy's attention on you. So there's a lot of information here, so I'm going to try to do it a little bit at a, at a time. Uh, there's uh, a lot to take in, yeah. yeah. What's really great about this game is there, there's so much information... That I didn't find it that enemy, exciting, it's just a flower. It's actually not as complicated as it may feel at first look to get into the combat. It's a gradual introduction, you're not going to start out with quite so many special attacks to use, quite so many party members to manage. And you're on the road but again. Oh, never mind, no we're not. We're back combat. to fighting another There's fucking plant. you can choose to use if you want to, but if you want to just get in there and auto attack and see if you can handle a boss I feel like way, if you had a flame you weapon or something, then it would be dead instantly. Oh, yeah, like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so right now Demetrius is using his auto attack. Uh, it's a melee weapon up close range that's sort of uh, stabby, stabby knife. Switch to, uh, <laughs> stabby. And, uh, yeah, and you back off to range and you can kind of keep your distance and get out of the enemy's melee attack range. The enemy doesn't seem to attack um, you very much in this game. Arts use different, uh, like that use giant fucking monkey thing seems to be the only thing that really chases you and fights you back. Melee arts. And the cool thing is, whatever weapon you're using, um, the game will switch you automatically to the weapon that's appropriate for that art. So you don't... Correct. Even though there's a lot that you can control about the game, you don't need to worry about micromanaging which weapon you're using at any particular time. But yeah, I don't know if I like that. Two, I like this I weapon, but this boss takes this, or it's better to fight this boss with this weapon, so it's going to auto-switch for me. There is kind of a loot-based uh, system to this game, and it's really cool. So you, you get to collect items after defeating monsters and enemies. Some are weapons, some are just collectibles that you can use to craft other items in the game. Yeah, so pretty typical. New, it actually shows up on your party members. So it's really interesting, especially when you get into some of the crazy armor that you can pick up. 
You look right, really so awesome and stompy. I'm getting closer oh, there here. It is, there, it there it is. All right, so we're going to watch a quick cutscene. So this is still in Japanese, but we can try to give you the, the sum of what's going on here. <laughs> yep, still in Japanese. Just of it. Uh, you've come across a, uh, a, a mech, a skeleton in this game for the exoskeleton, uh, arm, powered armor. You've come across a damaged one, seen some combat, but the pilot's not there. You don't know what's So typical. The oh, the pilot's um, gone. So uh, one of your allies checks for life signs and finds out that the pilot is still alive and must be somewhere nearby. Um, because How would that work? To be picking up some life signs. Uh, you have a decision at this point um, about how you're going to um, how you're, how you're going to tackle this. Whether you're going to go go out and be aggressive and and seek out any enemies. I'll be good. I'll be good. <laughs> um, <laughs> for now. So you're going to go out. And you're going to go look for your friend. Um, and uh, oh, looks like we're seeing some enemy life signs. There's a sudden interruption. Just um, so typical. We're going to go look for this, know, our this supposed teammate, and then, up oh, ambush. The game so <laughs> yeah. so I kind of so like how there's gonna, choices. You're going to see them coming up in just a moment. So we see that the, the life signs are coming from this fortress over here. And you can see the Monado. Yes. I just need to point that out because I think it's such <laughs> a that's fun really little cool. detail. So that's Lynn. Uh, Lynn does has little mini Barret uh, Monados. That's really cool. You're going to see a lot of little nods to Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> the 3DS. Uh, throughout this game, the Monado Barrette's on her hair, but there are a couple of other callbacks to the, to the uh, previous game. This isn't really a direct sequel, but uh, there are a lot of references. There are little nods for people who are fans of the series. You'll find a lot of stuff called back to the early Well, I never played the original, so I won't even be aware of any of those nods. Which I think is really nice if this is going to be sort of topping on point. You don't have to worry about tracking a story that's been running over multiple games. This is going to be a brand new experience for you check out and okay it's just so, so fun. this is her waxing philosophical about life and everything <laughs> the scene is is a uh, quite a good one but i'm gonna go ahead and just skip forward just a little bit so this now is right skip the cutscenes i suppose uh, whether or not to approach the prone or not i'm gonna be a little aggressive and she's probably not gonna like that nope oh <laughs> It's a very judgy look. <laughs> <laughs> so is that the custom That's character right. the person's playing That's as on the, the left, I guess? That chick? Blasters, you know? Do you have right. Because every time they've always showed off a demo, it's always been a guy yeah. custom character. Up, <laughs> <laughs> surprise, these guys just spawn out of nowhere. Was that the prawn they were called or something? Prone? I don't know. So Lynn's, Lynn's got their... Oh no, now their attention is split on both of you. Uh, Perfect. You'll hear some battle call out it doesn't even seem like it does members. anything. Like you don't it doesn't do super damage or anything. Who are fighting with you in combat, but they'll sometimes give you shout outs for different things that they want you to do. Correct. Um, and that's one of the best ways to heal in the game. So the way that mm. mostly it's like, man, these guys are gerbil. You're shooting them and shooting them and shooting them and shooting them, and you, always have to you know, ten thousand bullets later, they're still fucking alive. I know, but what's really cool about you think they'd be dead because they don't have any spaces left on their body that's not a hole. Find out with the soul voice, then. Everything works together where you'll just keep killing it and allows you to keep attacking over and over and over again. You just like shot into the sky. What did that do? Yeah, it really changes battle when you have multiple party members, I find, as well, because when you're by yourself, it's really hard to get away from an enemy's attention if something's chasing you. Very when you've true. got multiple folks helping you out in battle, if an enemy's attention is drawn to somebody else, that gives you a chance to take a breather, step back, maybe figure out a new strategy. Well, thanks, Captain. At the same time, though, if one of your party members is taking all the damage, you need to maybe draw their attention back to you so they can take a little bit of a break Very as well. True. So it's, it's really interesting how it plays out. Okay, so we defeated the, our first encounter with the prone. So essentially, prone, yep. we're going to continue our investigation because it sounds like there is a survivor. So I'm going to go ahead and skip past this and head up. And now we're heading up to their outpost. <sighs> so let's get to something icon, good. Show us, or not show us, but tell us a fucking release date. Work it all through throughout the world. Um, this right here is a basic level one treasure box. So I'm just going to tap A. That's a treasure box. What the fuck? It looks like and a what this does scrunched up it piece of metal. Gives me a chance to get some extra experience points, some money, and a probe. And I'll discuss probes a little bit later. So we'll just bring. Well, you it said up the probe now. is like the camera thing. All right. Let's go ahead and go through this. At least I think that's what he's talking about. Doom here. Yeah, the treasure system is really interesting because you've got different Another cut kinds scene. of knowledge that you build up to open different kinds of chests. Some that of them one it's was more, mechanical. Yeah, you're kind of breaking Level into, one. I think, like an old... How the fuck did the pilot get so far away from this scale? it's like scale. a biological thing you're trying to figure out. Like, okay, I need a different kind of knowledge to be able to get this out. Yeah, it's like a goopy purple mess. and just like, what is this? There's treasure inside it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a little more life signs. All right, we're going to go ahead and skip past this. Tracking the life signs up to the outpost. 
and that thing looks awesome. Uh, Where did he come from? I didn't even notice so that. So There's a really cool thing too awesome. about combat. Yep, it's gonna go right into it because he sees me. So, uh, what it's like a freaking uh, right. Tyrannosaurus uh, Rex so pose he's got going on there, but he looks more of an insect. Over the creature's body, there's a little eyeball icon. And then that there's like that a lightning bolt. The robot. eyeball icon indicates that it is no, a that's like a robot. enemy, so he'll attack you if he sees you. Uh, the lightning bolt means he also has a oh, he good blew off his head. hearing, so if he can hear you, he'll attack it you. It almost looks like there's a little different guy as the head. Different have different combinations of those. Some will be purely... He has nowhere to aim. <laughs> ...sneak around them or pass them or stay out of their range. Uh, other ones are non-aggressive. They'll have like a green icon instead of a red icon. Um, so you can gauge your enemies uh, from a distance and figure First out. Person doesn't seem like she's doing anything. Need to be um, You're swinging and missing. Whether you want to want to throw down with them or not. You know? Yeah, it's really nice to have that cheat sheet, especially if you're running around for something that looks huge and maybe it's hostile. Maybe it's okay to go walk by. So one thing too to note is every time I select a special attack, it does have a cooldown time. So like right now, I'm selecting this yellow art, the fire grenade. And as you notice now, it has a little bit of a cooldown time. Yeah, so I pretty can't typical use it until it comes all the way back up. So it's a good opportunity for me to try other arts or to wait. However, if I w oh, I defeated him. I'll try it again. <laughs> <laughs> You're too good at this, dude. You got to yeah. slow down. I was on it with that. God, I'm, I'm really let down by how well I killed him. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe I defeated that guy. <laughs> what was I thinking? So had it lived <laughs> longer. Had it lived yeah. longer. You can do double cooldown. Essentially, what that is, you'll see a little red, a green ring circle around that that special attack, which doubles its power. So maybe instead of but then it takes it twice as long. So is that really 200. worth it when you could just do it so regular really and do idea. two of them in the same time have period? To select a special ability right immediately. Maybe you want it to charge up double. It becomes one of your strategic decisions about whether you can hang on a little bit longer, not use that art until it's doubled up, and then you just unleash with a you know a maximum power attack. Now. I I think there's. I don't know if I would think that that was very worth it. Fortresses here, so this is a good opportunity to actually show what the hopper cab looks like. There we go. There's something so new, something interesting. The surrounding area. I know now that I had to go underneath this bridge and go across to get up. You can see the sentry actually walking back across. I'm guessing yeah. that little okay. shack type so thing is where you're going. That fortress to the left of me. Now this guy, I'm gonna have to battle because he's right in my way. No, just jump over him. We saw earlier you can jump like 30 feet in the air. Okay, so the, looks like I'm calling out for someone to use a yellow arc. Good, they did. One thing I don't think they've explained no, is if an enemy does get way. aggro on you and it chases you, you see those does it just keep chasing oh, you forever, or can you eventually run away from it and it'll those give up? Flashing rings like around the orange heart there. It's like those if you ran all the way to a different area of the world, would it just be like, nope, that's not my area, you're on your own. And I missed on one of them, but that's okay. This guy's going down. So what level is the... The guy who's playing this is 10, it looks like. Come at me, I'm shooting my in the air. Oh, taunting him as he falls in battle. That's it's what I do. That's harsh. Very confident, especially considering you're in their base. Yeah. Like the final blow was the blow to his self-esteem. Oh. Maybe that was just like a cel early celebration. Just like <laughs> yeah! <more. laughs> Only level six. Right, I'm seven. going to actually bypass they, they look cool. these guys. Oh, they yeah. caught me anyway. Okay. Oh, they, oh there's yeah. a bunch of animals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a bad place to be. Are they uh, all coming at you, or just yeah, the one? Just those guys over there don't even know. Yeah, you don't want to. Like, yeah, I don't give a shit. Oh. Pay no attention. Oh, I guess yeah, that's pretty good. You <laughs> see him <laughs> stomping <laughs> in the background. I love having a chance to They're appreciate the six, design though, of the monsters. I'm Whenever 10. I'm playing, I can't really have. Yeah, a so he is level ten. That's what I thought. Oh, the hell was that? Mud. And they're all. They're all visual, so you could have potentially. And despawn quite quickly. Kind of gotten around them. But uh, we, did we were taken to. in the sights, and they also took in the sights. And he's, he's dead. There's a silver line. Isn't he? No, nope. he's still alive, barely. It's okay. he's now he's dead. Wow, that one did not want to go down. There's like no life left. Actually, speaking of life, um, I still don't get why those guys buried beside uh, you, like five feet away, don't notice the it? fucking fight going on, and, so, and on the left you guys side, invading them. The, the blue bar is going to be our hit points, or HP points. On the right hand side, is tension points. So this tension. little art I'm going to select here, this, this says TP. That actually is what costs to use it. This, these are specialer abilities. They're specialer uh, abilities? Enhanced <laughs> abilities that allow you to do something like more powerful attacks or heal or even revive. I guess those are the rewards. But you have to finish a fight before yeah, it gives ooh. you the award. Or That's reward. Twin guns. I could equip that on Elma if I wanted to. But I like what I have. Now with these guys, I'm going to be <laughs> sneaky and go around. Really? 
Sure. You notice the battle happening behind yeah, him. Yeah, and that's a good opportunity to see how the eye is right there. See, I'm not in yeah. their vision, so I can go by. However, these guys have lightning bolts. If I just come anywhere near them, they're going to attack me. Yeah, so <laughs> the battle was probably a pretty noisy battle. They don't seem to be attacking you. They just stood there. <laughs> they seem to be alerted to you, but... They kind of remind me of the uh, uh, the trace yeah. from Metroid Prime Hunters, the red species. <laughs> he doesn't really have to worry about it. Except he's not red, but he's doing his job. They just thought that something was up. I like how no one in this, like none of these enemies, alert each other. They're like, hey, we've got intruders, all hands on deck. They're all like, oh, it's just some lousy humans. I can handle them. No biggie, and then you die. <laughs> Now, Lynn's doing a good job of distracting my, the, my enemies here. Oh, I never noticed it shows an actual oh, yeah, yeah. big health bar at the top she of the screen, right above oh, their actual well. health bar. Oh, yeah, suddenly, oh. suddenly bad. Yeah. It's probably I should have a little bit of aggro on you. Yes, I do. I'm going to actually do a little It's such a right weird there. way that the damage is done in this game. It's like, Draw, you know, multiple bits of damage at once, just flooding the screen. And Lynn. Oh, it's down to six. It doesn't LDL seem LDL like, that, like so you'd think, wow, you're doing a hell of a lot of damage, yeah. and then you look at their health bar, and it's hardly gone yeah. down at all. And that gave her another little healing boost. Oh, and, and you can see on them, boom, the boom, 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 boom. Right now, one of the arms is gone. Yeah, I took his arm off. That's something really interesting. Oh, you could actually if you could take his arm off. That's um, something. I forgot about that. In the first trailer, we saw that you can generally attack them. That's uh, you break off like a spider's But you can actually focus very different arms. points on them. So I think that the. the the big robot that we started off with... Yeah, there you go, you took his arm off. Yeah, the, front, uh, the turret on the focus, below, yeah. And then once you smash that, it can't use that weapon anymore. Yes, and it has a good chance to drop something special, too. So mm. it's always good to aim for different target points. Alright, so if you break off parts, you might get rarer items. So that's trouble. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Just I'll give him props for that. How that changes things up is, oh, is not a so bad idea. Here. All right, no. <laughs> it's kind of like Monster <laughs> Hunter, really. I I'm just letting it go. You I'm just letting you want a certain part from a guy, like a Wraithian or whatever, you break his face or whatever. Get the treasure layer. So this is the boss, and as you can see, um... Boss is in the leader boss, or boss is in the boss you're fighting? I uh, didn't quite make it. Or they're taking Sleepy. a peaceful nap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so much for your information about no. them being alive. In the interest of spoilers here, I'm just going to go ahead and skip past this Oh, that's part. right, we don't want to show <laughs> so, yeah. Spoilers, <laughs> man! That's why, really that's why we're watching this, this thing. Right to not see spoilers. I'm doing a really good job. I'm going to start off seeing like a... Maybe knock him down. Oh, I'm focused on the wrong guy. No, my bad. <laughs> oh, he's hurting though. That's good. You've oh, he's looking out. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, that All right. works. You know so take I'm out. Just stick with this plan. <laughs> I like that Lynn keeps drawing their attention because she's got yeah. that shield. I guess take out his so two little goons first. There. Oh, this is going really well. Man, that uh, pilot guy. Okay. I guess he was weak. Maybe he wasn't even level ten. Maybe he's only level one. Do you want to talk for a second about the little icons that we're seeing up on the left beside people's bars? There's like the um. The little pink one there, and then the blue ones lower down. Oh, those are the um, well, those are the buffs and debuffs essentially. Mm -hmm. So, right now I'm actually not doing too well with that. The, the pink debuff there on me. Is that the only guy left? They already are down to the boss. I wasn't oh, even really gone. totally <laughs> paying attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of saw him for half it. a second there, and I was like, wait, what happened to the other guy? But essentially, enemies can cast things that make your well, no, nope, I guess that was that. Attack go down, but I can do the same thing to them too. Wow, that went really. Fast. We it was way really too quick. smooth. Yeah, <laughs> that was probably the best fight I've done against that guy. <laughs> His outfit yeah, reminds me right. of Star Fox, that dead guy. Thumbs up. Good Friday for me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just doing a little quick cut scene here. You know, discussing what happened here. What's yes, we were too long, or we took too long. The person died. Blah 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 blah. blah. The However, there was a noise in the dumpster. <laughs> what? Oh, that's gonna be that. F so we're gonna yeah, we know who this is from the earlier trailers. It's the teammate guy. It's talking food. No. Yeah. <laughs> so this is one of the next characters that you get. I think it's one of my favorite parts of the game. Is it? <laughs> I won't lie. This is Tots. <laughs> Tots. <laughs> pretty fantastic. Tater very, Tot. Very pretty cool adorable. Character. I dig the glasses. Yeah, and you, if you played in the Chronicles, <laughs> you'll recognize his species. He's yeah. up on. He's another callback to and they love dancing to around. They're just like the boogie species. <laughs> I feel like if you look that fabulous, he's got like a star belly button. As well. I mean, and he's got a little star belly. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just skip past this. Just wanted to introduce that. So the cool part about having Tots, he's not actually directly in your party. He's a guest character. And what he does is he provides what do you mean you a guest? having a nav ball, as you may have seen just prior to this. 
So let me go ahead and actually collect all my items, level up. And this is him explaining the nav ball. So essentially when I hold down level the eleven now, right? X, a little nav ball comes out. So anytime I'm on a quest and I feel like I'm lost because this world is gigantic, <laughs> I can follow the nav ball and I can keep summoning it as many times as I want. And it goes on the fly. There's no cost. It's just something yeah. you can do whenever you so need to. So it sends me that way. But if that I would have been funny if there was a cost. Say, jump off here and be like, I'm going to do this my own way. I can just go straight to the nav ball. And it's like, oh, okay, then you want to go that way. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I just want to keep jumping. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. <laughs> That's how I like to play this game, is just jump and explore everywhere. It's just kind of my thing. Oh, you're going <laughs> to jump off a huge cliff? cliff. Really get into it. And Whoa. It really is true that anything you can see, you can get to. Oh. Take enough time and, that was a and weird kind of exploring and falling just, animation. Like I you found can it run so on the top of that, that mountain yeah. area. kind of looks like an iron to me, so I just call it the iron mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I find uh. it's, it's really easy for me to get distracted from actually doing missions because I'm having so much fun running around. It's like, I'll do that later. I'm trying to figure out how to get up to the highest highest viewpoints. Well, you get you gain bonus points too from just exploring. Do you really so get snagged on a you flower? You, you, <laughs> gain, you gain experience points, which levels you up in your game. There's another stuff. big fucker so over there. It's definitely not a bad thing. Can we yeah. take a closer look at that guy there? Sure. Awesome. <laughs> How close Taylor's do you want head. to get? Is that the question. Is, that's, that's his tail. tail. Yeah. There's the. There you go. Oh, somebody's. Oh, he's got some buddies. Oh, oh hello. So is that hostile? Nope. Okay. okay. You can run or any of them. Collect some item. How's it going, guy? Yeah. I guess he's not very it's aggressive. for them to notice at this point. <laughs> yeah. The monsters are just so cool. Looking. Yeah, this thing is crazy. I tried attacking one of these before. And <laughs> it just kind of look at you like, what? It like, just, raised its foot and yeah. just stomped down and I died instantly. Like, like the whole party was, was <laughs> squished. I had that happen to me. But it's pretty cool though because I can go swimming in the water and just checking this guy out. You can actually hear him drinking water. It's This world is just this awesome. Is so cool. Okay. Oh, wow. Now we're yeah, gonna waste crazy. tons of time swimming around, so let's change to the next. I feel like there should be a weapon just for trolling yeah, in this game, where it's like a shrink ray, and you shoot I a guy, know, and he just, just off really cool stuff. I, I <laughs> shrinks him down to a look at monsters all rock. <laughs> so one thing that um, folks might have noticed there while we were running around that we'll see again as we go further along is oh, and actually this is perfect. The change <laughs> from night to day. So there is a time cycle in the game. You can see up at the top right there, we're actually seeing what time it is. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What time of day? And it's, it's really interesting that the world does change depending on when and where you are. There's certain monsters that will come out at certain times, uh, certain people also. Is it based on real life time? Because they have their own schedules and they're not just Like on the time on your Wii U, though. You and there's weather patterns, too, which is yeah. really awesome. The, you can see a meteor storm on a clear <laughs> night. It's, it's gorgeous. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, it's <laughs> really cool. I got to run through a thunderstorm, which looked Ooh. really cool. Yeah. And all of the, uh, all of the monster behaviors... Uh, are determined a little bit by the the night and day cycle and the weather cycle. So you'll have nocturnal animals that, that are that armor on the left there looks pretty um, snazzy. But that are like more aggressive predators at night. Who also wield greater rewards. Mm -hmm. Can you take a peek up? I just want to see the moon there. It looks one oh, of one of moon. one of that moon. See, like there's now the moon's moon. fucking heat. Wait, there's, there's multiple moons. Moon there's so many. I don't even, there three moons. There it is. <laughs> it's really really cool. Okay, so this is my save file. I'm a little bit further ahead. This is my created character. And no, we're on another guy. mission, and we're going to go ahead and take a look inside another continent called Noctilum. But first, I'm going to go ahead and talk to Lau and recruit him, so we're going to actually now have four party members. All right. I'm still surprised this is in Japanese, at least for the most part. My party, except... You've got some awesome armor on Elma, by the, the way. The fuck? You just yeah. disappeared. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. I had to put a sweater on there just because. Why not? Yeah, I know. One's cool all business, there. the other's all casual. <laughs> <laughs> So before we go into the other continent, let's take a uh, talk a brief moment about how probes and the gamepad works for this game. So right here is a node. This is for Frontier now. It's a level one probe. So let's go ahead and switch. There's even to, different level probes. Uh, showing you what the gamepad screen looks like. All right. So I'm going to walk up to this probe, and as you see on the map here, there's a little icon indicating where the probe is. There's a bunch of them actually right now on the map. All of these probes yep. have not been dropped yet, but when I walk up to it and tap the A button, I'm going to go ahead and drop a probe on the inside. Now, as you see, a bunch of information was revealed. I also can now respawn here if I was to die, so that's really helpful as well. Oh, that's uh, a good, yeah. you can gain money. So the information that you see around these adjacent segments here are different things that you can do. So the little star icon is treasure chests that are around, and then the little enemy icon right there is something I could slay ar around. Well, here. obviously, an enemy means an enemy. Oh, right. go figure. Yes. And that little 
uh, box down there at the bottom in the middle is where I can fast travel to. So it's also a great idea. Seventeen point six six percent completion rate. However, sometimes your level might not. Does that mean in the whole like the continent or in the whole fucking game that that's how far he's got? Who knows? It really kind of brings to light the whole Just like world exploration big concept yeah. here. There's so much. Yeah, your people have only been here for two months. Yeah, you really don't that's have pretty that big. great a sense of where things are. So you've actually done a really good job exploring here. You've got a lot opened up. But when you start, there's just all these mysterious gray hex tiles mm -hmm. for you to gradually Everything fills figure in. Figure out. As you see, I'm only 17.66% and I've been playing this game for quite a while. So. It's no. good. It's not overwhelming. It's just a lot of fun. Couldn't be that long. I mean, I don't think the Japanese version finished that long ago. You have an important month ago to go or out so. and help the people of New Los Angeles understand their surroundings and get a better idea of where they are and what so they So I guess it is 17.66% of that uh, section, so that area, continent, whatever. Now, it's nighttime in Nocturne, which is probably one of the coolest looking areas, but it's also very, very dangerous, <laughs> so i got to be very careful here. No, you'll be fine. Really cool I'm a slightly different class, so I am actually using a long sword and a rifle rather than Lindsay, who is using a rifle and a knife. So my special attacks or my arts are slightly different. Can you show the? Uh, I would I think, think that's so. The rifle, right? Or is that the sword that you've got? This there it is. is. The There's right the right rifle, and that was the sword. So that sword is one of those magis or majestic. I can't even speak. Really flying creatures. So so this is not so There's a collectible to your right. You just miss, man. It's a level 55. That That's not that bad. To just, uh, You're level 13. If you add all yeah. your levels up, you might be close to 55. <laughs> <laughs> if it only worked that way, I would be very happy. Can I just be the devil on your shoulders? Do it. <laughs> Fight the monsters. Maybe, maybe later. Uh, you said you had like to fucking right at the collectibles. Yeah, that's a little scary. And, you know, there's not... If you die, there's not much of a consequence. You don't, you don't lose that's true. much. That's true. All you do is lose the progress that you've made, you know, just walking out in that in, into the distance. You're not going to lose experience points. You're not going to lose items or money. Found and a little house. <laughs> 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 the presser. The presser. Uh, well, right explain what this is. Stop you can go to a rest stop. So you can change the time of oh. day, so you don't have to worry too much. But you know what? We'll go, we'll go ahead. And, uh, That's we, neat, I guess. Oh, so like it doesn't affect the Wii. Or the Wii time does not affect monsters it. To slay. Let's go ahead and slay this first one. It does off. look really nice at night with all the glowing. Yeah. Perfect. Bang, 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 bang. That's out there. Down. Gotcha. Oh, great, so you topple them. It doesn't seem like the uh, the players can be. Oops. Oh, I what's that. the word? Uh, <laughs> like taken aback. Like when you yeah. smack an enemy good enough, he goes like, Ugh, you know, and flinches. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, but so this is special attack. Doesn't really, really like cool the human attack. players or this, the, this your party members get flinched. Really, really sword I just love to wow. cut off an arm. I just popped a lot of stuff right there. Okay, <laughs> there we go. See, take them out nice. really fast. Class up. Oh, one thing we could point out too. I don't know what so that means. You see class up, there's your inner class and your class. So for those who don't know, I'm a samurai gunner. That's that's my class. Yeah, nothing special. That's, that's, yeah, that armor though on the right front it's character is pretty awesome. But in the game, I, do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I get classes. So I learned a new art from doing that. My inner class is my overall level, which is level 13. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start using my nav ball, ball just to make sure. Which is telling me not to walk in the poison water. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's great. We can't recommend the poison water. Around the, the poison water. I'm just gonna jump over it. It's handy. Well, sorry. This sort is of the fun part where you can just start jumping and exploring different areas. All right, I think I'm going the right way here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's yep. something really large that just jumped down over there. Yeah. It's only level 13. It's fine. <laughs> but there's a bio. Uh, Get the treasure. It won't notice. Let's see. Just sneak up there and grab the treasure. And <laughs> I'm run. going to totally <laughs> do that. You're behind he's, it. He's he's How is that a treasure box? <laughs> he's just yeah. on it's a fucking the rock the that came through. type oh, thing. Dear, this level 35 guy over there, that'll kick your ass. Okay. Gonna, that looks that. like a Dodongo almost. Oh, <laughs> <poisoning>. <laughs> Zelda. Oh. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. <laughs> so right a brave now, man by himself with the monsters around. Yeah, at night. So right now, actually, my mission is to, as you said, a life hold. The spider? You see where one of the life holds are. Oh, right, right. So that's where I'm heading towards. And you are just running and dodging everyone. Which is fine, because you don't need to see you fight every platform, fucking creature. There's still so much to explore around here. And so to recap, those life holds are filled with other survivors from the crash. Yeah, in case we've got some folks who are latecomers to our stream, we should probably do a quick intro of the story for folks who uh, maybe missed the first part. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. Yeah, no, so we don't need the, you to the repeat The story kicks off stuff. when Earth is caught in the crossfire in a war between two alien species Ugh. Uh, who vastly outclass all of us. Uh, the upshot of this particular war um, is that the Earth is destroyed, 
But we kind of see how things I'm so tempted going. to just so mute them right now. And we just build a bunch of arc ships. And <laughs> not take off even care. And but just abandon the planet. Um, oh, the thing for there for a sec. Detonation. Most of the arc ships are destroyed. That's what you get for doing live streams, I suppose. But yours, uh, the white whale, makes it and um, gets Does it really make it, though, because it fell apart uh, apparently pass, and people are scattered? And you're traveling in space uh, when one of the alien species finds you again and they attack the ship, you cannot fend them off and the and your ship basically crashes on this planet um new los angeles this sort of biodome of uh of the city itself uh lands safely is deployed and lands safely um and the people of new los angeles and those collectibles seem so random it's like them back normally the it's hard to find collectibles but these are just like oh right in the middle of the fucking right field the right there for yeah, you yeah you get found uh elma finds and they didn't say how many there are back. It's probably like no ten thousand right. of those fuckers. Now <laughs> I'm gonna try to do something. There is a really cool area here. In the creepy dark cave. Yeah, That's I'm gonna see if I can get to it. Uh, I was seeing this yesterday. Um, oh, do I want a chance? Oh, it's not in this cave actually. It's <laughs> the next one. It's not in the cave yet. Cave over. Yeah. <laughs> it's surrounded. There's. A, it's just a superb view, um, which is really really neat. But it's surrounded Doesn't by seem like burden. you have a stamina meter either. So you just sure can run and run and run and run. Really <laughs> just have to do a little sneaking. Um, they pop up out of the ground. Oh. <laughs> and they ambush well, you. Fun. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and try anyway. Because why not? That's something I'd say. Because why not? I think it's through, through here. I think one of the things I've enjoyed most about playing this game so far is you really can make it what you want it to be. Okay. With this huge open world you can explore, you can really choose Data. what kind of survivor you want to be as well. If you want to focus funny on if you just really accidentally yeah. slipped yeah. off the ledge and <laughs> fell all the way down. You can focus that was on waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really cool view and a little sneak wow. peek at something. like a boss thing down there? I don't know what it is. Awesome. I don't know. I'm going to run away from it. <laughs> I guess it is an enemy. See, if you if you wanted to focus more on just finding giant scary monsters that are threatening your society and taking those out, you can do that. If you want to focus on treasure hunting, so you really have a lot of options as far as. So I guess when I play this game, I'll just probably be. Yeah, you can taking random missions and going in that order. <laughs> Although it's not really order if it's random, but fill out your. You know what I mean. Your collections in the uh, collectopedia. Yep. Yeah, we're still working on the localization and. Uh, can't guarantee that any of the terms are final, but um, yeah, as you collect things, they get added to this. <laughs> about time you mentioned something about localization, even though uh, you hardly said anything. The planet Mira. Oh, is that the guy you were talking about? Yeah, these are one of the guys. Oh, there's oh, two yeah. of them! Yeah. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Run away! <laughs> I'll just keep running. <laughs> That's actually one of the things that kept me super busy in Xenoblade Chronicles. I just I was so focused on 100% of the another collectible. that you know, the fate of the world I figured could wait. Yeah. Things were fairly stable. I was just going to collect all my little bugs first. And then <laughs> that's okay saved for the now. world. Uh, there's there's yeah, another priorities. pro point here. Oh, but wow, those handlers. It's like a giant deer. I want to see him. Yeah. Oh, he looks so cool. This is a really it's like a mutated version of um, Sauce Buck, the Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, just take it to the sides. Yep, yep. Make sure and we've been, been recording for like 43 here. minutes. So we're almost to our destination. But as you can see, you get a nice little tour. Discovering some more regions as you go. Yep. All right. Oh, someone tried to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> I just got away from it. Oh, you Something know what? Oh, oh his buddy found you, though. Go for it. I'm going for it. Can't just keep running away. I don't know. I think you were doing a pretty good job running yeah. away. But maybe if you take one of them this out, sure then the <laughs> other ones will leave you alone. This is a really fun class. <laughs> oh, see, like the enemy himself doesn't really seem to be doing anything. He's just kind of standing there taking the, uh, the, the it. Oh, he's sort of doing something. Uh, it looks like timing speeds up. Correct. Maybe it's not. that much harder for you to nail the, right the above, perfect timing. Yeah, right above where all my special attacks are, in my art, you see soul stage. So I'm at the max, which means it's gonna those B button prompts are gonna happen fast and quickly. But it's a good way to keep healing. Not sure what that was all about. Going. Oh, I jumped the gun on that one. Your spot's actually do that. He's down though. Oh, oh, that doesn't even seem like much of an, really cool a threat. Too, is special attacks and combo with each other. Like he's not even moving. He's just down, standing there. Use the fire grenade. It's actually gonna cause increased damage. Oh, so I guess he did some kind down. of attack oh. there, but he resisted. Vented something. There. And once you get a lot of arts collected, it's really fun to mix and match because you can set which arts turn up in your palette. So, which special attacks and special moves you actually want to have access to right away. And oh, it's really interesting to see how some of them play off each other. I'm just kind of experimenting to you. Just finish him off already. Come on. Right here is I'm going to draw 
his attention towards me, and then use this attack, which actually increases damage. Mm. Nice. So anytime an enemy is focused on you. Oh, I took him out, so... Oh, I got a lot of items from that. Okay. Three Ooh. is not an uh, oh, a lot, sir. Hot there. <laughs> so not in anyone's <laughs> definition <laughs> of the word. Look up the word a lot right. in the dictionary, and it says here. three. <laughs> you guys got that. I'm okay. Cool, right? right? I don't know if we're going to get a chance to see oh, him a little closer Whoop. now that he's got his backpack on, but his backpack design is amazing. I think we get a good view uh, of him on one of the other save slots, too. Ooh, awesome. So if we don't get it here, we can... I kind of we think that's his, like, How many more save slots are there? I don't want to record, like, like a monster face past so an hour. Something, maybe he just flips around and kind of, like, wiggles. Yeah, it's like it's butterfly like wings yeah. that, have, that look like predator's eyes. Exactly. Yeah. So here's another cool If you had a backpack like here. that, your life would be easier. You wouldn't be having to fight things. <laughs> look at this thing. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, this is eyes on top? So cool. This is really cool. He's got some uh, hovering some adi hovering support uh, behind him, too. So if you went in and attacked him. Those flyers would probably join in the battle. Yeah, I would love to run past this guy, but I can't. Uh, but if you go past this <laughs> oh, area here so and look cool. to the right, you'll actually be able to see the other continent, Primordia, mm. where you came from. It's really, really neat. But he's going to step on you, if you yeah. see. <laughs> step on you. That seems like the main <laughs> attack from all these big things. Just step yep. on them. Oh, They're only humans. Just step on them. <laughs> <laughs> what was so that? Uh, scraping it off on nothing, the It was nothing important. It was nothing important. <laughs> Can I get past these two? All right! And I did nice. Good job. Some fancy footwork. They caught me last time, so yeah. <laughs> I think I can get through it. But you killed them the last time, so that's why they're not messing yeah, with you. I'm gonna have to fight this guy. He's just, just so exciting. That reminds yeah. me of a uh, Jay, great Jay oh from Monster Hunter. Circle, circle, circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're asking me to do this. All right, knock you down. Oh, it's not like set you on fire. Ooh, boom! Oh, that's some really good damage too. Okay. Like All the fights seem to be the same really thing, good. like. Doesn't matter what you're fighting, it's still just, you know, shoot, slash, and, you know, perfect. I feel like that would get a little repetitive and boring after, you know, a few hours. Yeah, he was angry at you at the end there, but didn't do any good. None at all. Alright, so I believe there's a cutscene coming up here. Are we allowed to show it, or should we sneak past it so we don't show off too much? Um, Is it secrets? It's the game's going to be out in a week in Japan. <laughs> But we did see a little bit of this is going oh, to be. Right. I like that armor though, that one with the white so there. So we'll get to know what he looks like. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and skip past this. This is actually pretty cool, but in the interest of spoilers. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, okay, there's the backpack. See, oh, it's right, like a yeah. little tongue and teeth. And it's got it's little fantastic. tiny beady eyes. N yes. But they're having a conversation, so spoiler time. <laughs> <laughs> You're making many decisions in that conversation. I am. There's a lot of decisions you can make in the game, which is really cool. So for the fans who like to you know, say yes and no and make all their choices, this game does offer that. You get a lot of opportunities to shape the way that the cutscenes go, yeah. So you can see him right here if you want me to show, show off. He's just so great. Oh, he's hiding behind a bush. A little funny <laughs> guy. But yeah, his design is really, really cool. I gotta admit, I'm really looking forward to seeing some cosplay from this game. There's just so much cool armor and cool gear to collect. I think it's going to be really fun seeing people get <laughs> I don't understand the whole succeeded with way more thing. Skill than oh, there's right. another one of those guys. One of those guys oh, you almost jumped off. Oh, oh that would have been bad. <laughs> and that's the end of our stream. <laughs> you can survive a I would have liked that, actually, if that was the end of the stream. Be a lot of, uh, oh, who caught me? A lot of walking. Did he come up behind you? I think yeah. he totally Aww. did. That was all for nothing. <laughs> Oh, well. Level 15. He is higher than you. Can't imagine he'll last. He's a level 15, yeah. which oh. is a little tough. But yeah, he's taking some time. Yeah. Oh. Oh Missed yeah. The prompt that I was not good. No point. Either. But I'm gonna go ahead and draw him towards me. So do you think you're gonna stick with the samurai gunner build, or have you been thinking about trying anything else out? To be honest, all of them have different weapons. Um, I've seen one that allows using a spear and a sniper rifle, which is really, really cool. Cool. So that's, that's an interesting combination. Like the next one I'm going to focus on. Um, I don't know the official name yet for it yet, so sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Again, localization is in progress. Sniper spear. Well, tell us yeah. how <laughs> far. Like, are you 50% done localization? Are you 75? Are you only 10%? What the fuck? Is, he's using over here. He has a spear. He's, he's <sighs> part of that class, so it's really, really cool. Let me go and try to knock him down. No, he's just resisted everything. <laughs> I think in a minute here, I'm going to end my recording, and then I'm just going to start it again, and then I'll edit it together. Because I don't want to record too long, otherwise my computer will have some kind of issue, or the capture card will have some kind of issue. At least I'm getting my 
My soul voice is going, oh, knock something down off of him. That's somebody good. in your squad still in the chip, too. So. Oh, he knocked down. He got knocked down. Yeah. Set him on fire. Set him on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded pretty bad. And again, this creature's <laughs> just standing there. Just kind of going, oh, nice blah, 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 blah. He likes to set fires. Knew, knew what he was getting into. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw his attention again towards me. Ah. Right like, when uh, I was yeah, this is a good enough spot. I'll stop my recording yeah. here and nope, see you in a him. second. Yeah. All right. You only missed like a full second there, so but what whatever. I have to do is auto uh, switch between auto attacks back and forth to maximize my damage. Just something I need to do a little more there. Bang. Oh, we can knock, knock the down. So just, but I really hope that they improve the. So he Enemies he a, fighting he style. I mean, maybe it's just the way Xenoblade kind of games do it, but it's just so lazy, I guess. Like, yeah. I don't oh, know. He's almost done. I got yeah. it. Oh, yeah. He's, he's nice. got no time left. He's literally just Ooh, standing there. A, a prime. So that's, and that's he blocks a the camera. <laughs> Look at the guy the in the background creeping the there, the flower so creature. Got, uh, you had a, a green item earlier that was your dual, I think it was your dual, this is a dual, dual rifle. And, and off they go again. Gun. Dual machine gun, yeah. I didn't catch the aim of it, but yeah, you can see the rarity of uh, those weapons just as you're picking them up off the um, <laughs> corpses of your enemies. <laughs> so it's always a good di idea. I, I know I'm running around a lot, but just trying to you know show everything off. But I normally you would probably pick your fights a little more evenly instead of just running everywhere. Come on, let's wrap this yeah. up. Let's yeah. give I mean, us a release date or a year. month. Anything. No, the, first guns to blazing. <laughs> the first thing I did. Honestly, this whole direct, like the the footage yeah, itself, I feel like this game is more fun playing it than ever watching it, or than it ever would be watching it. I should say. Try to find the highest place I can get to just to see what things look like. Mm. Now there's your life hold. And it's on fire. Then again, watching a gameplay where someone's just explaining things is less exciting than watching someone Ooh, like, doing a playthrough and like they're going, "Oh, what the fuck is this?" Fighting. Oh, this is all the fun part. Yeah, awesome. We've, we've been uh, we've been teasing people with the uh, down scale that we saw earlier. Do they have like three Wii U's going on here with three game pads? I love this part. Stand by for there scale we combat. Go. <laughs> just off. Something Three, about big stompy fighting robots. Two, and she used right, to be so on IGN. Here is yet or at another IGN. Uh, save. Um, we are now you're in New, New, or New Los Angeles. Scotch save, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so, so now it says doll fuel. Up Why? Up Why isn't it scale, scale fuel? Did you not translate that yet? He totally can mess up his scale. So here we are in New Los Angeles. A little bit later in the game, I've earned my scale license. and scale license. You can take a look at it. Um, it's down on one knee. Uh, you can see uh, a couple tires on the back. I'll show and you what those are so for in a moment. Obviously, the tires are for when it transforms into its like car too. mode. Just the same whatever. as with yeah. everyone in your party. Motorcycle mode, whatever. You're gonna see that right away, so you can tell. Probably the coolest what's thing on. about this game, I think, is when you equip all the stuff on your scale, it's actually on there. And this is just your. Uh, this is the very first scale that you get, so you might almost call it a, a starter scale. You know, it's no. not the most powerful thing that you're going to see it's in like the game. Like your first car, I love yeah. that. Analogy. I think it's a, it's a lighter body type too. So once you get Correct. into the heavies, you're going to get something a lot more bulky and tanky. But this one, it's nice and maneuverable, and I think it's a it's a good place to. Kind I don't of know if I'll ever use a big tank one because I don't know. Pack. Big bulky huh. characters are always so kind of bland to me. Yet, but you still have a pretty good jump. And you can transform, but the jump is really good. It gets you much higher than other areas. I think you can actually transform in the air too while you're jumping. And oh. then yeah, we'll, we'll get some of that in a minute. I am going to take a moment now just to jump out to a quest location. So we're going to have to do a quick, fast travel. Yeah. So, so what we're going to do here is we're going to actually. I don't want to spoil the map, yeah. uh, so I'm going to use the, the. We're going quick to a travel place to somewhere in the world. You don't need to <laughs> worry about where I'm going. <laughs> where in the world is that quest? <laughs> but it's a place where we can fight things in a giant mech suit. So yeah, that's all that really matters here. Yeah. Uh, can we go back? Uh, uh, wonder, is that at nighttime? Uh, it was a, nighttime. Uh, it had oh, just so gone to really nighttime. Good. Oh, good, good. So we're going to have some, some night Perfect. fights. Is there like a long loading yeah, screen or something? My there quest we go. Guy <laughs> is. So let me look at that map. They don't have the update downloaded. Um, one thing that keeps happening is uh, we're you know practicing for this. Uh, I would start exploring and just get kind of lost <laughs> um, <laughs> just because I was enjoying the driving so much. How can you get lost? Uh, you can use that transformed in sort of a So one thing to point out too yeah. um, for, for people is a lot it's of, of weird how it's got like motorcycle wheel style. 
when you get in a scale, all of a sudden they do become hostile. They don't like how big you are. They, they just come after you. It's pretty cool. So you have to take that consideration. Sometimes there might be something really cool in an area with a bunch of you know, non-hostile enemies, but if you walk up with your scale, they're going to come attack you. So maybe you want to hop out of your I wonder scale what happens if your scale get gets damaged enough. Does it get broken? Does it like get damaged? Or does it just take away from your health? You see your uh, squad mates don't have their scales, so yeah. they're just going to run along behind you. No, I'm just going to take a knee, pop out, <laughs> zoom in a little bit so you can actually see me again. It's bright, bright <laughs> oh, you can zoom in the camera a bit. That's nice. Right. Uh, hey, buddy. So he's going to tell me stuff. Um, the fuck? That's so the <laughs> upshot of this conversation is uh, go kill in my name. Um, what was it, the hearts? And I can skip the rest of that conversation. So That's all you need to know. And just, oh, yeah. he's glad to bother me. Could you... Uh, yeah. Help oh, a fellow blade out. <laughs> so uh, one other bit of the um, top right screen there that's new here is the fuel. We probably talk about that a little bit since yes. we're going to see yes. that going down. So now that you have a scale, and it's going to be scale fuel, not dull fuel. As as you said, we're still yeah. There you go. That's what I thought. That. Yeah. Um, the fuel is what powers your scale, and anything you do, like when you fly or when you go into combat, you start wasting fuel or you start using fuel. Wasting right fuel. Um, but you can refill it when you get out of your scale or you pay some uranium, which is some of the type of minerals or ore that you get when you place a probe. Yeah, I think we actually ran across a vein when we were exploring in yeah. the two. save file. Yeah, yeah, two. Nice. So we Don't did get that going. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be using oh, any fuel now. Guys, there we go. Matter. Well, hello. Well, you can also recharge by just hopping out of your scale for a bit, leaving it alone. Yeah, going to do some that is on foot and it will much, sit and much slower, but it does help, though, for sure. And it's good in emergencies. knowing, too, you have to kind of have the balance. Um, you can go ahead and get into right. our battle. So when using certain, oh, that's certain right actions... Oh, he's behind you, so go ahead and tap B. Yeah, I want to target... There, there that go. guy. So let's go ahead and just start with talking about how scale combat differs. As you can see here... You know, shot him in the butt. The arts are kind of similar the same. You have the same color patterns. Some are range attacks, some are melee attacks such as the, the yellow is a range attack you just did. But what's cool about <sighs> this is... Man, I'm tempted to just stop the stream right now. Like, this is not that stuff. exciting for so me. Maybe other people are like, oh my god, it's so amazing. But laser. That's how you know what art and what type of attack. I don't know. Have. We can show that off too once we get into the garage. Or but that I just wanted awesome to make glowing that. sword I just saw. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. cool. So cool in, beam saber. So in regular combat, uh, arts are things that you select for your character. But in scale combat... Those arts are determined entirely by what weapons you've you've equipped on your skill. Class up. I am the class. And what Maybe it's just a camera angle, but so it doesn't look like you're any bigger than your normal size, even when you're in that thing. You the only comparison is like that your what teammates are like you grab them, right beside you, you and you somehow don't step seconds, on them. Bearing that you keep pressing the D button properly, and all of the people in your party will be able to cause much more damage on them, and the enemy won't be able to attack. So this is a great way. And I'll see how long I can keep this chain going. I don't know what this time limit's for. That your squad mates are going to be um, fighting, doing auto attacks while you're fighting, and they're, they're still pushing. Those are level 23 that. guys. Well, you're 25 now. I didn't even notice that. That's oh. really fun. They're telling me what to do. Um, oh, that's uh, so to bossy. Oh, I really wanted to go into pilot mode. That's the one thing I'm hoping we can show off, uh, but it's not something that's under my control. But it looks really cool when you actually see the view from the cockpit. So we're totally teasing something that they, they, <laughs> they may never see. If you see it, <laughs> they will. Awesome. we're going to do it. It's I think they show happen. that off in a trailer a long so time ago. That was when they severed scales. the spider's my legs My buddies off. are running around behind me. There's a little potsy down there. So okay. one thing to note, too, is it's really cool. Is right You're now, next. you only have one you scale. But the party members, as you can see on the left-hand screen, get a 20% up in defense. So it pays to actually still take party members with you. It's just not like a one scale and it's beat all thing. You, you, can, you can definitely change your tactics up. You see the bullets uh, raced right when I first attacked him. They raced past him, looped all the way around, and came <laughs> back and hit him again. You are good with those. <laughs> I, I don't know how I keep doing that, but it's really fun to look at. <laughs> and, like, I just don't understand why the other enemies here don't give a Actually, shit. Why don't they all swarm and attack you at once? Yeah. Okay, sure. So thing. one of the cool Talk things is, as you saw up at the top screen, he has 3,000 TP points. That's that full green bar. So what this allowed him to do was select the middle icon and go into overdrive. Oh, here we, here we are! Oh, nice. So much is just oh, happening gosh. right now. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> well, so I guess he succeeded at it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Ah. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh good. 
Okay, well, let's go back to Overdrive. <laughs> Where were we? So what was going to happen there is you saw the words Ouroboro pop up. So that's one type of Overdrive that is indicating what type of mech, or excuse me, scale that you have. So what Overdrive does, it takes all the cooldowns and makes it go much, much, much faster, allowing you to continue your attack and doing it over and over and over and over again. And the time that so it makes you a bit more OP. That That's mode. all you had to say. However, you can extend it by just continuing your attack and timing everything properly. So pilot mode was that cool third person inside the mech view. When you're in inside the skull, hey, you are invulnerable. You cannot get attacked at all, and your cooldowns go off immediately. So you can actually attack again with all of your arts. Really cool stuff. Oh, I Ugh, these fights are so boring. Yeah, I mean, I like the, the right enemy side. designs and everything, ever. but <laughs> every <laughs> fight, no matter the size of the enemy, is the exact Pablo, same no. experience. <laughs> Might be a certain amount hey, of like respect and dignity to the one-on-one. -on -one the only one that seems to be an exception, like <laughs> I said, is that giant yeah, monkey I'm gonna let him take care that we saw in a direct <laughs> a while back. It's important that he fucking chases you and throws a giant fucking rock. Sorry, I was busy. I was busy looking at my weapons. <laughs> I got so excited. Oh, and then I keep again. jumping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> That's okay. We'll grab him. Or we'll kill him. It just won't even matter. That move is so good. I love that charge. I really like that weapon a lot. Okay. Man, you probably could have just ran past this guy. Oh, yeah. Unless the mission is actually to take out the enemy. I don't even remember. I'm still surprised that this is not even in like the sections that they're playing are in English. But... <laughs> Do you actually get a certain amount of these to trigger your cockpit view? I also like the <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> so like a stat awesome. buff, what was that? I think that's that for him, right? So let's go ahead and skip this. this yeah, is actually we really don't want to spoil anything. The audience is probably like, wow, there's a lot of spoilers. No. But we're, we're just trying well, to keep a lot it of different. Story. Yeah. That was a weird little yeah. eye thing that guy was wearing. We want to keep so, it different, right? What I, Are those level 50 guys? Did you fight a monster? Do you want me to fight a monster? I can fight I a monster. I always want you to fight a monster. That's actually very true. No, we don't need to fight any more monsters it's unless it's something like, new uh, and massive or something. I find some would I, blow up would I even be able to find my way back? <laughs> well, you know, we can blow up. It's fine. I don't mind blowing up. <laughs> You're going to be the one who explains that to Scott when he gets back to the office. I'm, <laughs> Look, I'm not Scott, taking that one. <laughs> I, I have to tell you something very important. <laughs> Although we, we should mention... He oh, has here we insurance, go. though. There you go. This is actually yes. worthwhile. Oh, perfect. So this is the... Pilot mode. That, that was kind of weird. It was not totally a It quick was the pilot mode. That was a very quick pilot Aww. mode that I totally didn't <laughs> fail. I completely did not fail. <laughs> I don't know. That was kind of weird. It was yeah, like walking after your screen. Oh, oh. You went into that. Oh. <laughs> so once you get your, your scale, and it's, it's such an awesome achievement, you're going to be so excited. If it happens to explode, it's not the end of the world. Well, yeah, the first thing is you can jump out. You get a couple gimmies. So your out doll time, does explode. It's all good. You're just going to have to go back to your garage. Scale. However, if you don't, then you're going to lose a tick on your insurance, which is up to three charges. After your third charge, it is gone. You have to buy it all over again, and that's quite expensive. But the good thing is, though, <laughs> is it's pretty easy to, to jump out and keep everything going. Yeah, you don't want to go through yeah, you don't want to go completely. You sad, you That's funny. You That's paint funny. Them and you paint them and Which yeah. will show up in coming up in a couple minutes here. You don't want to make that. I'm just getting into a few uh, little side battles nice. on our way back to the. Man, this treehouse thing but is like. What is this going to be like an hour? Yeah, there we all right. Go. Let's see if I can sustain it. Because we've already been recording for. One of my favorite there strategies. We go. Well, no, this I has already been an hour. A sniper rifle. And one of my favorite things. Whoa! Oh, that was neat. It oh, cast was that? It, I think it cast blind on, on oh. you guys. I'm fine. We're fine. So what I was gonna say, my uh, my skill, one of my skills is a heavy type, and it has a sniper rifle. And one of my favorite things to do is start opening up with it using a sniper rifle. And if it goes into the pilot mode, that means the cooldowns are off, so I can use the sniper rifle again. Nice. So I cause tons of damage doing that. One of my favorite things to do. <laughs> I'll just find my way back to. My guy. Uh, walk I know. I just I yes. saw I could walk up on top of something and decided that. Man, this cool. reminds me of, of the I other really day when I was watching the sure. Destiny yeah, stream, oh, yeah, we're good. and it was just so goddamn boring. Uh, it's like an hour long. I transform. I just hope I don't. And it's literally outside. just walking yeah, around. True, yeah. Talk, talk, right talk, 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 talk. Oh, that's so slick. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're up to the top now. There are a couple now. big things that were that yeah. way, so you maybe don't want to. Yeah. More spoilers. thing is cool too is you can actually run across this. In your scale, so that's really neat. Wow. And if the water's too deep, you'll just start hovering over. 
I was like, are you jumping over wow. the one blue item that was right there? <laughs> no, I, I got it. I got it. Let's see if I lose. Oh, oh. Down I go. Down I go. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> this is great. Everything's fine. Just like it has the same animation as the character, the regular yeah, player. Yeah, you jump off and you yeah. land on Especially one knee. Especially you get the flying upgrade point. and you can just yeah, he's right cruise up mountain sides. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you get in a scale and you just kind of like, oh, this is so awesome. <laughs> I just want to run around. There you are. Boy, I didn't recognize you in the daytime. All right. <laughs> so we'll run back over here and just tell him everything's cool. I was going to say, how do they understand what the fuck they're choosing? <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and quick travel or fast travel back to our yeah. garage. So let's see here. So I think it's definitely a nice task. I'm going to do got to make sure we don't show more secrets. Uh, but the fact that you've got this huge open world to explore, it is nice that if you want to take your time, go by foot, run around, find things you can. But there's so many ways to travel faster if you want to. You've got quick travel. You've got driving around in your scale. <laughs> a oh unicorn. Yeah. Oh, great. This game was brought to you by My Little Pony. All the way to the other one. And just run around, and it that doesn't waste a lot of fuel either. So you get to see all these different areas to explore. And there's a lot of hit blade hole on the map, caves and the secret areas oh. like that. You yeah. exploration is totally worth. Oh, should I go back? No, oh, so here's the customizing your doll the thing, I guess. Above you on the wall, but we can look at that later. Okay, well, yeah, we'll we'll hit that in just a moment. It's we'll be looking. back. Oh, I'm just so, so not in interested in all this. <laughs> this is where you keep all of the skills. We knew you could customize because they are awesome. Now most um, of this we can't even can understand anyway, but them. I'm going to jump into my uh, basic urban. It's unit. called Bubba, Bubba. apparently. <laughs> and, Bubba. Yeah, it's funny how they translated some of these things here, like naming, and coloring. And a lot of time but they haven't changed the word have doll to scale that, yet. I have four scales. <laughs> I have a fleet of them now, and <laughs> each one I have to customize and paint exactly the way I want it to. It's, oh, it's yeah. Awesome. Last time so I saw it, your dark blue one was looking really sick. Yeah. <laughs> there are a bunch of really basic things you can do here. Like I can assign this scale to any one of my party members. Uh, oh, so you can get more than one right scale now, so and give them to your party members. To That's cool. I'm not but sharing that scale. Go on. Not, no, it's <laughs> mine. It's mine. But if I get more... You know, so what happens if they play, blow up your things? Does that have to affect the insurance thing you're babbling on about before? Uh, you can also jump into the setup and pull like, you broke my mech. You have to pay for it. Right here you can see all of the different weapons. I'll start down here, actually. It might be a little easier. You can see the frame. This kind of makes me want a new custom robo game, seeing these right uh, here, mechs, head, left arm, skills, um, body, arm. Body, body, leg, uh, right arm. Uh, and then up here, jumping back to the top, you can see first the two auto attack weapons. Um, below that, you can see what's outfitted. These are all outfitted on, on each arm, basically. So you're seeing left arm on left side, right arm on right side. Shoulders too. And shoulders too, yeah. Um, so I can customize yeah, these two new items. And you'll see like the little flashing art. The Falcon, at the <laughs> isn't that from that Fire Emblem? With that weapon, uh, you see here I've got the railgun on one side, and nothing on this side. Let's take a look and see what items I have. It does seem a shame. You shouldn't have any open spaces. No, nothing should be left unarmed. Um, Double railgun. Now I do have a second <laughs> railgun I can outfit, and you can see it represented up there. That does look pretty awesome. And that is pretty cool. Huh. I like the symmetry of it. Uh, or I can switch to this. Uh, the the Buster is a two-slot weapon, um, and it's. I mean, you'll see why if I rotate around. You'll see on the back it's gigantic. Wow. Um, and you know, on that the top right where it that shows thing's the, huge. You, right next to unique, it shows that it, the green takes right. up both slots. Yeah, yeah. So you've got uh, either one-slot or dual-slot weapons that you can outfit yourself with. Um, I've got missiles. I've got shields. I've got my falchion and my beam saber. Uh, you can customize any of these things. I am going to go back to the... Didn't even mention the Falcon. I just like the way it looks. Um, and we'll leave Scott with, you know, a slightly better armed uh, skull. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't need to refuel right now, but I could if I had to. Um, I can also rename my skull. Bubba's a fine name. No reason to change it. We'll keep it as is. Um, no. But then this is where I really get lost, is uh, going in through all of the coloring options. Uh, you'll see all of the different parts highlighted as I go up and down through this. You'll see different parts flashing. Uh, those are the parts that I'm going to be adjusting the color on. I'm going to go for something like big and dramatic here. So. And this is something you can do for free. So as much as you want to, you can go and tweak Change it. it they love their hexagons, yeah. that's for sure. Every day of the week, every mission. So the two different colors on the right hand side of the screen, it's showing what you're changing it to on the bottom. And then on the top of that is what it previously was. So you can always switch back. 
Now you'll notice I've done like a really dramatic change to my hue, but because the saturation is low, you're not seeing how significant that change is. There so I'm is. gonna I'm gonna really saturate there you go. it here. Go back up. That's pretty uh, cool. We going blue. Yeah. Purple. Blue. No, I think a, I think a nice. Think Even a the nice brightness. Blue out of it. Maybe brighten it up there. That's that's all right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It really offsets the sword. I like it. Yeah. Keep that. Nope, you switched oh, back. Oh, actually. did I switch no. back? Oh. <laughs> that, I, no, I, you was, just had to back I was all confident. I was like, yeah, we're going to keep that, and now I'm going to hit the undo button instead. You can That's also fun. pick a glossy or matte color as well, just just for those who really want to go technical out there. <laughs> That's up. interesting, I guess. This time I'll just cycle through. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Just back up. Um, go down to the next one. Drop down and do some accent colors. I am going to up the saturation, too. I just... You know, I might not do this in my normal game, but I really want to show off some of the brightness and some of the like, the varied colors and the combinations. I, I Scott's find not going to mind when he comes back. No, he won't mind. And I find that the brightness. That's a weird combination of colors there. Oh, nice. Ooh, that is very green. Yeah. <laughs> it's got grass stains on. The feet look so skinny. Starting to look like some hometown colors That's here. So yeah, I like, cool. I like to be a booster, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we looking at here? There we are. We're doing some of the highlighting. Um, so these are the fine lines you see. The, the yeah. white there sticking out. I can't I tell know. what I that's actually little, doing. Uh, what do you think? Yellow or maybe some orange? Maybe try to match the sword. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I won't go through everything here, but you can see exactly how much customization there is you can't already. I mean, the visor's color and then the color of the engines. Yeah, I've got a really small visor on this, fire, um, but I am going to try to show off some of that. I'm like really scowly red eye. Yeah, you can see it changing. If you get up, it'd be nice if Project Giant that. Robot had this yeah. level of customization for your robots. I tried to do a really dramatic change so that you could see. Uh, how significant it is. It's some actually have additional patterns as well. One of the other scales that I had was had glowing lines, and I could change the color of that too. Mm. So, mine was a like a deep red, and then it had a really bright golden glow to it. It was really really cool. Nice. Yeah, that's a good observation. I mean, you can like different scales. Apparently, you can sell your scales. Them. You're, you've got all the same basic parts, but the way that you're coloring them is different on like, different scales. Very very cool stuff. And then we'll sell Scots right now. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> nah, that's oh. just that's just too much. <laughs> well, as long as you close the game without saving, you'll get it back. And you felt like you if it was mine, if it was mine. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're if you're this close to getting like the next upgrade, the next big scale, you know, maybe you'd want to do that. Maybe you'd want to sell off the old one and kind of work your way up. But I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna hand down my old beater to the next the next in line. That's what know? I do. Yeah. So who's gonna be your favorite? They gotta impress you. Who earns the scale? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. yeah, there was um, an icon on the wall there that I just yeah, wanted to I'll point uh, out before you went in there. Cause I'll step back and get a good view of there it. There we go. There we are. So Have yeah, we're in the Blade home right now. Blade is the sort of uh, military unit that you've joined into, uh, whose mission is the defense of the remaining Earth population and the exploration of the world around you. Um, but yeah, go ahead and talk about the... Uh, so first of all, one of the cool things about Blade home, it's, it's your own home, so you can change the color scheme in different areas. It's, it's really cool. Oh, that's cool. Um, going back to Avalanche, that symbol there is one of the professions that you can pick, one of the eight professions you can pick when you join Blade. So it looks like Scott joined Avalanche, which offers different bonuses for what you do. Um, Avalanche, I don't recall exactly what it does. Oh, there it is. But there's your skill. Uh, mine is Testament, which is a name I'm, I'm sure will probably change, but it was the Golden Insignia. And any time I open treasure chests, I get yeah. bonuses for that. This so is looking those pretty are the cool. type of things we're dealing with. Each one is different. Some are better. The customizable weapons, aspect is always the most appealing. And so on and so on. So you can change that. That one person, she is tiny. Type of play style you have. And you can also change that back and forth. So making one choice is not the end of the world. You can change it on the fly. Yeah, okay. I like that it really lets you customize your experience. If you find that the thing that you're getting the most fun out of in this game is combat or it's exploring or it's maybe rescuing people and finding life hold based on the profession <laughs> you select rescuing people. you can make sure that you're really specializing down and okay people are going to let you know more about the kind of work that you want to do and you're going to get bonuses for the kind of work you want to do and if you decide hey you know I'm, I'm ready to start taking on big monsters change it up and then that's going to be the goal that you get bonuses from 
I wanted to. Oh. It's crazy. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Scott's gonna love it. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna so get tired of looking at those. So yeah, it's I just a wanted pinata. to. It's a robot pinata. I just wanted to show. He's not gonna get beaten up though. He is <laughs> never. He is uh, an impeccable warrior. At least not um, while the stream's going. I think we need plausible deniability. <laughs> <laughs> he's not watching. Like he's he's busy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to show off the garage. There's not much to see here because he's only got the one scale, but. I mean, your scales will all be on display here with all of your Looks like games. you can have four at most. Yeah, home. Like it's your all, it's home. All decked out. And hey, we talked about this before the stream. Do you feel like showing off uh, some of the, the shops, some of the other uh, scales that are available, or do you want to leave that as a surprise for the future? You know what? Let's leave that as a surprise for yeah. anyone that wants to kind of, you yes. know. Yeah, I don't want to spoil, don't spoil don't too much. This is the beginner model. Yeah. So Things get once crazy you get some more here. funds and you get built up, like, this is basic right. compared to what Especially you're going to see in the skills. Especially when you invest in super weapons that take up more slots and are ginormous weapons, way bigger than anything you've seen here, mm -hmm. such as a even bigger cannon, weapons. Great. Of cannon you attach to your back. <laughs> so maybe we'll be able to show that some other time. Yeah, but we don't want to spoil too much today. If you're going to spoil it later, yeah, then you're going to may as well spoil it now. We have today, and we're not allowed to give away too many surprises right now. So, uh, and the game's we'll coming out literally and, uh, in a week we'll in Japan. Game Everything's going to be revealed then. Exclusively for the Wii U later this year. And we're all super excited about it. We've had a blast playing it. We've had a blast working with Monolith Soft oh, yeah. on the game, and it's going to be really, really fun. I so can't wait to go back to play Yeah, if you're into right? RPGs or adventure games and open world exploring, it's just... It's a blast. But uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in, and I uh, hope you join us next time. Yep. Yeah, thanks, thanks very for much. That's it? Really? Coming later this year? Really? Really? <laughs> wow. Well, I'm glad that was over. That was a waste of fucking time. Well, thanks for watching. Wasn't exactly the most talking I've ever done, <laughs> but it is what it is. At least we know I could do this with E3 or whatever. So, see you next time.